Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you three narcissistic attitudes that destroy your chances of experiencing intimacy and sustainable love with a man. So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without the need for gimmicks or manipulation and simply as a result of stepping into the most alive, most conscious, most feminine version of you. Now, if you think about potential guys that could create the most pain in a relationship with a woman, I can't think of anything more painful than a narcissist. Now, rather than describing to you what a narcissist is, I'm there's hundreds or thousands of videos on the topic, I'm going to focus on three characteristics that most narcissists display that are incredibly painful and detrimental to your growth in the relationship, to your self-worth as a woman, to your ability to sustain friendship and love. Now, it's very important for me to point out that whether the guy is a narcissist or not is less relevant in this specific video if he is displaying these traits, I don't care if he's not a narcissist, if he's acting like one, it's just as painful to you. First one is a sense of entitlement. Sense of entitlement might be, would be for you when a guy shows up and he feels he deserves more than he deserves. He feels like by mere virtue of showing up that you should drop everything that you're having in your life. You should stop seeing other guys and risk all for seeing him, even though he hasn't proven himself that you should have sex earlier than you feel like ready for because he feels like he should. He's entitled to that level of connection with you. Knowing things and details about you that you're not ready to share with him. So a sense of entitlement is so corrosive in a relationship. Why? Because you deal with the subject of constant pushing and breaking of boundaries. So what happens with a guy that you stick with, stick around with, starts pushing on your boundaries constantly? You get desensitized to the discomfort that this is bringing you. I mean, you still feel it, but it's almost like it's overwhelming. So you give up on some of them and you end up lowering your standards and doing things that you would have never done were you in your five senses. But it's like, it was so much that you said, okay, well, the, he pushes so many boundaries that these ones are not so bad, even though they are. So that's the first sign that the relationship is heading to a place that is going to be destructive in nature versus fulfilling in nature. Second one will be what I call the reversal. The reversal is when a guy the faults that he has, his insecurities, his fears, his faults, his shortcomings as a man are reversed and pointed towards you almost as if they're your faults or exactly as if they're your faults. An example, it's not that he's insecure about his own masculinity or secure enough about himself. It's that you dress too provocatively all the time. It's not that he is needing constant reinforcement uh, of where you of, of where you are is that you're just you don't care about him enough to share your whereabouts every now and then you, you can take it to any level but typically this is something that would be normal for you to do and because his insecurities or his fears his fears or his shortcomings he makes you or he starts to make you feel that it's your fault and that you're wrong for it and that you have to change your ways to fit his model of the world Again, more corrosive than the first one because now you're starting to doubt in yourself. Your self-worth starts to be impacted right now because you start thinking that there's something wrong with you and that you're doing it wrong. And then it takes me to the third one, which is by far the most painful of the three. And that's when a guy chooses to punish you when he feels he suffered as a result of your actions. Even if these are actions that are completely justified and completely in your right of doing, he feels like, well, you disrespected me because you smiled at that guy and that you're just being nice and therefore he's gonna do something to punish you and not let go of that punishment until he feels you've suffered enough to compensate for his level of pain. That is by far the most corrosive of the three attitudes. Here's the challenge with a narcissist. He doesn't have that empathy to know that you're really suffering. He can like, sense it, but he's, he's not feeling the pain of you feeling that pain. So it becomes really, really painful because he can turn on the dial to level 20, not feel a thing, not flinch and your life is going down the toilet as he's doing it. Why? Because he's using everything he learned about you, your fears, your insecurities, to point them against you. 
and to hit you below the belt in ways that you would never expect someone that you've been so vulnerable and so open with to do. That's why this third one is so corrosive. So here's my challenge to you. Whether you've labeled the guy as a narcissist or not, if he's displaying this three traits, especially all together in one, this is a big red sign that you need to wake up. And more than just waking up, you need to get help. Because likelihood, more, ch more likely than not, you've attempted to change this on your own and you haven't been able to. And if you feel like you're in a situation where your self-worth is lowering and lowering and you can't get out of it, you need to reach out and get help. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell so you can get notified of new episodes as they come out. And most important of all, there's a couple of things that I'll give you as gifts. First one is, there's a masterclass that I created for you on the first line of the description of this video. You'll find the link to it, click on it, enter your name and email, and you'll start watching this 40 minute masterclass that takes you into the ins and outs of how the principles needed to create a fulfilling relationship, regardless of what your past has been. Now, if you're listening to me right now and saying, Bern, this makes absolute sense, and I am one of those human beings who need help, I'm willing to invest in my life, in my self-worth, in my connections, to create the love that I want with myself and with somebody else, then a second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply for a conversation where I can find out if we're fit to work together. Now, the way it will work is, if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, schedule a time for us to connect, and then we'll talk. And if I feel I can help you, I'll invite you to participate in one of my programs. Thank you so much for connecting with me, my dear, and I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.